Let's do another common listener question. If you listen to the podcast, you know that it really triggers me when I hear the assertion that, oh, you can't give someone who has a history of CHF albuterol because it's going to cause them to have this flash pulmonary edema. This is strictly old medic dogma. No disrespect to my fellow EMS providers and elders, but I've never heard this come from a physician, a scientist, a professor. It strictly seems to be a paramedic urban legend. There seem to be two justifications for the people who say that albuterol will cause flash pulmonary edema. One is that you open up the airways and the opening of space allows a cascade of this like oceanic amount of pulmonary edema that was tamponaded by the swollen inflamed airways to fill the lungs. This frankly is one of the dumbest fucking things that I have ever heard. The second isn't as dumb. It does make more sense if you think about it, but it still has no scientific backing. It's not evidence-based and actually quite the contrary. Different studies have refuted it. It's that the heart is already taxed and you add a beta agonist, which is going to speed up the heart, make it have to work harder. Well, the heart's just going to get even more taxed and then it's going to crap out, which is going to cause the acute crashing pulmonary edema. It's like C collars preventing secondary spinal injury. If you think about it, it's a good idea. It makes sense. But no, have I ever given albuterol to someone with shortness of breath and they're wheezing and then I watch them get much worse? Absolutely. Have I given a respiratory patient a NEB treatment and then they ended up coding later on? Yeah, and it sucks. Did the albuterol cause them to get worse though? No, here's my take on it. The decompensation after albuterol has nothing to do with the albuterol and everything to do with the fact that the patient was already dying when we got to them. Most of these patients have chronic lung problems, chronic heart problems, chronic CHF, and they've been dealing with shortness of breath for days. It gets worse and worse. Maybe they've been trying to self-treat at home with rest, oxygen, propping themselves up with pillows or in a chair. Maybe they're using their home nebs and they're trying to avoid going to the hospital. But it gets to the point where they can't take it anymore, so they call 911. Before we're even dispatched, they are already in this unfortunate moribund state. We get there, they're wheezing, they're dyspneic, and we give them a neb treatment because that's what we do for wheezing. It's not wrong, but it's too little too late, and they just crump out. It is not the friggin' albuterol that assassinates these people. It's just not. They've studied it, and there is no evidence to support it. And actually, some studies suggest that inhaled beta-2 agonists promote pulmonary vasodilation, and that this can be beneficial in patients with severe pulmonary edema. The lesson is to do a good assessment and to be aggressive with treating severe dyspnea. Have a low threshold for implementing CPAP. That's what patients with pulmonary edema need more than anything else. And while it's controversial, if it's not CHF and if it's asthma or a COPD exacerbation, CPAP works in these patients too. But do a good history. I've had plenty of patients who are dyspneic, wheezing. I walk in the door and I'm like, oh, it looks like they're having an asthma attack. I do my head to toe assessment. The patient is sitting bolt upright. They're diaphoretic. They're super tachycardic and they're uber hypertensive. And that's almost always going to be CHF. And if you listen to the bases, yes, they're wheezing, but usually hear some rails in the base. If they are wheezing and you wanna give them albuterol, all right, good. Yeah, that's what we do for wheezing. Most protocols say if they're wheezing, give them albuterol. But prioritize the CPAP if they are severely or even moderately dyspneic. And then once that's going, if you want to give them a beta-2 agonist, you can do an inline neb or give them a shot of terbutaline. Just my two cents, people. Albuterol does not cause crashing pulmonary edema. Goodbye.